Climate change is causing extreme weather events to become more frequent and more severe. Professor João Porto de Albuquerque, an urban analyst at the University of Glasgow in the UK, is leading the waterproofing data project. This project involves an international team with partners at Getulio Vargas Foundation and the National Center for Disaster Monitoring and Early Warning, CEMADEM, in Brazil, as well as at Heidelberg University in Germany. They are exploring how to increase communities' resilience to flooding by engaging them in the process of generating the data used to predict when floods will occur. The team is working with communities that are vulnerable to flooding in Brazilian cities. Rapid urbanization has resulted in the expansion of deprived neighborhoods, sometimes called favelas or slums. Housing in these neighborhoods is often non-durable and so may collapse during floods. Data about the risks and impacts of flooding are often missing from poor neighborhoods. Social inequalities are reflected in varying data availability, with data gaps in impoverished urban areas. If there are not sufficient data about rainfall and flooding in an area, it is very hard to predict when floods may occur. This increases the risk to these communities, as they are less likely to have warnings before flood events. Zhao and the waterproofing data team hope to fill these information gaps. The team works in schools in these communities, teaching students concepts about flooding risk, vulnerability and resilience. Students also construct rain gauges, which they use to record the daily rainfall in their neighborhood. The team has developed an app, which students use to send their rainfall measurements to Brazil's National Agency for Flood Early Warning. They can also use the app to record flooding events and their impacts on the neighborhood. The Flood Monitoring Agency uses these data to develop better flood models, thereby improving the accuracy of future flood warnings. The waterproofing data team also engages with older members of the communities who share their memories of past floods. These stories become crucial data for informing the flood resilience of the future. The fact that these flood data are community generated means they have greater impacts than just improving flood warnings. Students are empowered by acting as citizen scientists, contributing data to the National Flood Early Warning System. And by observing the correlations between rainfall intensity and flood events, they gain a deeper understanding of flood risk in their communities. The team's research has shown that the act of generating data leads communities to think differently about rainfall, floods and how they relate to their neighborhoods. Zhao believes this philosophy of citizen engagement in data generation could empower communities around the world to prepare and defend themselves against floods and other hazards that are increasing due to climate change. How could you help communities through the power of data? What could you achieve as an urban analyst?